Hello YouTube, my name is Lincoln. Welcome to this vlog. This vlog, this series is going to be called Netflix and Chill. Because Netflix and Chill is cool because it's a play on words with like Netflix and Chill, you know? I don't know why I'm explaining it because I'm assuming you know what I'm talking about, right? We are going to be talking about one specific topic every freaking Monday. This is going to be uploaded on Monday. I'm doing it beforehand because of course that, that makes sense, right? Today's topic is going to be called YouTube. The game, the game of YouTube. We're gonna be talking about the game of YouTube today. And the game of YouTube, what do I mean by that? YouTube is a game. To me, it's a game, it's a challenge. I'm gonna compare it to MMORPGs. I've been playing MMORPGs for so long that uh, it just, it connects with me. It, I feel a connection to it, you know? Anyway, so what I mean is when you start a character, you are the lowest level. You start, and then slowly you start gaining, and you start increasing, and you get weapons and armor and levels and experience and and skills and all these things, and slowly you start becoming an expert at that. In the beginning, you suck. You are terrible. You are the worst freaking player possible. You don't know what to do. You don't know what quest to pick up, but gradually you start gaining experience in how to do this. And what I mean by connected to MMOs, I mean that, say, you start at zero subscribers, of course, you have no power, you are weak, you are nothing, okay? And then slowly you start doing the same thing over and over and over and talking to a camera or talking into a microphone and playing games and choosing what games you want to play. Slowly you start gaining power as you start going through the mysterious grind of YouTube. You level up. You keep on leveling up. You keep on getting better. You keep on experiencing more and it's not just about your experience doing this it's more of your channel gain strength apart from you and your experience and you doing better as a youtuber your channel gets stronger the higher audience retention you have meaning the more minutes a person watches your video or your your basically your viewers how much they watch of your video the higher that ranking it means that your videos will rank higher than other people now there's a lot of different things in YouTube that you have to do. It is very, very difficult. It is not easy, you know? You can say, people say that luck is a huge factor of YouTube, but sure, it's a factor. I don't believe it's the biggest factor. I'm not gonna sit here and play Final Fantasy VII, which was released in 1997 or 98. 97 I think it was. I'm not gonna make a playthrough of one game and expect that I'm going to gain subscribers from that because there's thousands and thousands of videos on that game. How are you going to rank in that? How are you gonna rank in the thousands? You're, you're nothing yet. I'm not saying you're not gonna gain something. You are gonna gain something. Now it's weird that I'm kind of doing this but it's weird because you are a viewer. So, I just want to explain how I think about YouTube. I mean, it's a huge challenge, okay? And I love it. Even though it gets frustrating, stressful, and I just want to cry in the corner most of the time. But, it's okay. It's, you're, you're affecting people's lives, and I like that part about it. It's not just about sharing videos, it's about affecting people. Um, talking to people, comments. There's just so many things that are in it, okay? And the more the more you grow, the more comments you get, the more engagement you get, the more fans you get, the more money you get. Of course, you get money from the ads. I'm not really gonna focus so much about money because people hate it, but it's, it's a fact. This is it. People do do this for money. It's fine. It's cool. Anyway, so I said I'm not gonna talk about it, and then I started talking about it, so that's bad. Anyway, so the game of YouTube. Your channel gains strength with the more it grows, the more stronger it gets, the more easier it is to rank for videos. And by ranking, I mean where that video ranks compared to all the other YouTubers. I mean, you have all the competition, of course. I'm not saying that you can look at everybody as competition, but say I'm at 100k subscribers now. For example, I'm nowhere close to that, but I'm just going to put it as an average because I feel like that's a huge milestone for a lot of channels, so it's a good thing to talk about. Say I'm at 100,000 subscribers. I'm not competing with people that have 10,000 subscribers anymore. I'm only competing with people that have 100,000 or 150,000 or 80,000. So you can say the 80 to 150 range, basically. You keep making videos, you keep targeting games, you keep on doing the newest freaking things before they even come out. And now to do this, okay, I'm going to explain that too because that is very, very important. Okay, you need to learn how to network with developers. It is very important for you to talk to developers before games come out because once the game comes out, there are a certain amount of YouTubers that have already done this, of course. They have talked to the developer, they've asked for a press key, and they get it earlier. 
maybe they get it two days earlier maybe they get a month early i have won a game a month earlier and that's cool but so did all the other people get it a month earlier so it it is a speed thing i mean people talk about quality over quantity okay i understand quality is very very freaking important but to rank quantity is more important than quality but the thing is if you are not happy with your video if you want to rank for something a certain game came out and you wanted to make a video as fast as you can but usually you edit for two hours before but for this game you said i'm not gonna edit i'm just gonna cut it in the beginning cut it in the end just throw that out there you'll get views you'll get a lot of views you probably get a lot of likes but it doesn't represent your channel this is the problem when people do this it doesn't represent your channel you're not doing that content normally if you were doing that content normally that would be fine but if you're not it's a problem i did this before okay so with dead realm <clears throat> when dead realm released i had mobile notifications on vanos gaming because he was going to announce it as soon as the game came out so i ran to my computer freaking bought that downloaded it as fast as possible made a video but there was barely any edits and I got a lot of hate for that it, because it was just it wasn't quality it wasn't quality content and I hated that idea the the idea of that I produced something that I wasn't happy with but I just threw it out there to get some views or to get some subscribers or to get anything I'm sure I got I got a lot for that I think I got I think I got 5000 or I got 3000 something views in a day or two when at that time i had maybe 100 views a day if that so it was a huge jump for me and i was happy with it but later on i felt that it wasn't the right thing to do and i don't want to do that i don't want to do that anymore throw videos out there that doesn't represent the content that i produce and it's weird because i'm just freaking rambling on we're talking about the game and we're talking about the strengths of a channel and all the different things but i like to focus these vlogs on one certain thing and this is how i see youtube as a game as a challenge as something i have to beat the whole focus is growing because what's the point really it i, I don't see it i think this is this is a good this was a good thing Talking about YouTube as a game, as a challenge, as something that you just want to grow in. I want to grow in. It's all about my thoughts right now. This doesn't represent anyone else. This is only what I think. And instead of making guides and talking on forums or Reddit or anything, I decided to put these into the vlog format because I like talking. I like talking to the front of a camera. It's easier for me to talk instead of just to type out some perfect thing that probably a couple people will see and it'll just disappear by doing this it's there it's stuck it's on my channel so people will see it eventually years from now when i have 2700 subscribers <laughs> they will come back and they will see this video and realize this is this is how i think about youtube and this is why i want it more than anything the challenge is very very important to me and i do not i don't have even a small speck of me giving up because i know that i can do this but it's gonna take time patience i'm a very patient person so i'm just gonna wait it out and hope that this pulls off the more games i cover the newer games i cover maybe one of them will be the one that sends me up a bit higher a bit faster and this is how it is so i hope you guys like this video if you enjoyed this video give this video a like thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one Welcome to the Star Drop Serum. What can I get ya? Nothing. Or the beer? Are you crazy? I ain't spending that, yo. Monkey rolls. Because uh, saloons always have sushi.